All right, well, we gave him his chance. Like I said, as the moderator, after one presidential candidate gets roasted, the moderator will generally say, you will have your chance. Excuse me, sir. You will have your chance to respond. He had his. It went terribly. Let's go to the other guy who got roasted. Next stop, Topeka. Flatulance. It's your turn. Flatulance, what's up? Hey, not too much, Jim. Thanks for letting me on. And, uh, hey, Mikey De La Creme, thanks for the vote of confidence. So, uh, Jim, after call apocalypse, you know, I wasn't planning on calling the show anymore, but uh, I also wasn't planning on Parody Larry coming in and glossing me flatulance. Really, Larry? Where'd you get that one? From the nine-year-old you tried to lure to the back of your van by telling him, Hey, kid, well, you want some candy? You know what, Larry? Screw it. I will embrace the flatulence gloss, and I'm going to fart in your face with the music of the four times. Ah, that's not a No. You don't like that cup. I don't like that cup. Not a very good cup. Flatulence. <laughs> flatulence. 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 I never thought I'd see this day. <laughs> this is incredible. Look, uh, I'm now virtually a middle-aged guy. I've spent my entire life in this industry working on this show, trying to get to a certain place, trying to create a certain legacy, something I could pass on. Maybe I could leave my mark. I did not spend the last 30 years busting my ass prepping every single day, hiring good people around me, doing quality interviews to have this show come to this Adults talking about flatulence. It's over. It's done. All right? Don't you ever call ever again, flatulence. I mean, I can't believe what I just heard on my radio program. A nationally syndicated radio program, syndicated and packaged from CBS. That can't happen. I'm not having it. I am responsible for it. If I don't control this mess, nobody will. That's it. Flatulence, don't you ever call this show ever again. Uh, Rob G in the CLE. I mean, even you weren't as offensive. You just hyperventilated and melted out and freaked out. You, you hear the way he set that up? I'm going to flat you lance in your face to the tune of the four tops or whatever he was going to go with. And then I got out of there. Wow, Larry. Larry, you probably feel really good about yourself right about now. Then again, Larry, I got to hand it to you. You generally look so terrible. But right now, you look like a genius compared to these two. And I can't imagine this is going to go well for either one of them. Thankfully, that was at the end of a segment. Now, I'd love to sit here and say it's not going to jump today, but it will. I would try and admonish you and say, don't you dare bring this in on a Friday. Back in on Friday if you want. Dress casually on Friday if you want, but don't you dare bring that crap around here tomorrow. But I know you will. I could take a week off. I could take a month off. I could take a year off. I bet I could take a five-year hiatus. I could go away for five years, come out of nowhere, and show up one day on the radio once again, and the first emails through would be like I was never even gone. Hey, Rome, how about Flatulance? Flatulance. What's he going to do in his face once again? I could take 20 years off and show up. Hey, Rome, where you been? Anyway, uh, regarding Flatulance, wow, I mean, come on. You've had your fun. Now I'm done. You've had your fun. Now I'm done. I mean, I don't even know if I want to go to Twitter right now and see what's going on. I take a telephone call, but I'm uh, freaked out. 1-800-636-8686. All right, as we look ahead to a Friday show, I'm going to do my very best to screen all that nonsense out. I will do my very best. Boomer Esiason will not stoop to this level. I know that. Some of the reaction through. I am the walrus tweets. This presidential debate is over. The senator from Topeka has a big grump in his lance. That's the first tweet through. Nice play on words, Caleb. Anybody else? What do I do for a huge call? This is going to be really difficult. Hey, Lau, come on in here for a minute. I know how that went for me on this side of the glass. How did that go for you on the other side of the glass? And did you not talk to these guys before they went on? I didn't talk to Flatulance. I didn't. I, did, I talked to um, the Grump or whatever is in the CLE, um, Rob G. 
I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I think that's the hardest I've laughed since I've worked here. <laughs> when? <laughs> really? when? I think when Lance Flatulance <laughs> said that he was going to fart in, in Larry's face. I think you I've worked here almost that. eight years. I don't think I've ever laughed as hard as I did right well, then. So that makes you about as third grade as they are. You found that funny. You know, it's weird because after you said it, you took a while to come back to the mic, too. Because I, you know why? <laughs> no. Because I took a moment because I was so infuriated oh, okay. that I thought that I might say something I was going to regret. You need to collect yourself. It, it certainly was not me laughing. That was me in a cooling off moment because I'm a little bit older than you, a little more <laughs> mature, and I understand that I was going to say something that I was going to regret and maybe make it worse. You're being a responsible broadcaster. Yes. You're a lot more you, mature than me. You, on the other hand, <laughs> found that amusing. I, it was, I was physically doubled over <laughs> laughing. I had tears in my eyes because I didn't. it just came out of nowhere. I didn't think he would say something that that crude or sophomoric. It shocked me. I, I thought that was... Have you been following this show for the past 24 hours? That, that sort of crassness surprised you? I, I was there for Matt in Cleveland. I was there for Global Warming and the Hack Off. I thought I would never laugh harder in the show than that. I laughed for hours after the show. This one, I think, went past it. W- w- I'm not even going to repeat the phrase. I'm just going to leave it out there no, in the airwaves. Did. Don't do it again, please. Oh, my God. I, I'm still... I, I, unbelievable. I, it's, what can I say? That's I, the funniest thing I've ever heard I was going to say, Kyle, you make that sound like that was a good thing. Uh, you know? No, 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 no. That was not a good thing. In a way... Let's, let's be very clear about this. That was not a good thing. It was a very memorable thing. And very. Don't go to your... It was, quote, reactive. That, that was not a good thing. You remember where you were when Flatulance said that to Larry. <laughs> I remember where I was. Right there. Sorry that I asked you to come in. He, he just said that you will remember where you were when Flatulance said that to Larry. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do is end this show and wait for the phone call from my boss. Yeah, uh, Jim, uh, yeah, I was expecting this phone call. Did you want to tell me how great the show was today? No, we wanted to tell you that that can never happen ever again. Right. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Nobody's more aware of that than me. We did have Jerry Rice. Does that count for anything? We did have Herschel Walker. Does that not count for something? We had Jeff Fisher, the head coach of the Rams. Does, <laughs> does that not count for something? This guy tweets, bleep in your face. This is the absolute greatest 24 hours of your show. Man, I hope not. If I spent 30 years in this industry and that's what I have to show for it, and you think this is the the 24 hours of best work I have ever done in my career, I'm going to have a huge issue with that. That's not right. That's not good. Got to get the huge call, don't I? Somebody probably paid for it. Oh, thank God there's no sponsor today. Huge call is brought to you by nobody. Hey, thanks. I'm not going to try to be a champion. I'm a nervous wreck. I'm just going to try to survive and shrink Larry down to size. So, uh, Jim, after call apocalypse, you know, I wasn't planning on calling the show anymore, but uh, I also wasn't planning on parody Larry coming in and glossing me flatulance. When I was uh, in high school, I was in a rap group. So hopefully I still have some of the skills. Uh, in Rome, I want to apologize for all my bad calls. I hope maybe I can make amends. Maybe. Really, Larry? Where'd you get that one? From the nine-year-old you tried to lure to the back of your van by telling him, Hey, kid, well, you want some candy? All right, here I go. Uh, you guys probably don't miss me because the grump doesn't have a good rep. But you didn't know how to dance, so me and Lance taught you the two-step. You scoffed and laughed. So I cut down all the trees in the jungle so you couldn't breathe. I, oh, shit. I cut down all the trees in the jungle. Ah, you know what, Larry? Screw it. I will embrace the flatulence gloss. I'm going to fart in your face with the music of the four times. Ah. Head slam. With the music of the four tops, he was going to blow him up with a four tops parody. <laughs> well, congrats, Rob G and the CLE and Flatulance. You fellas did it again. You are the huge cause in your last and final calls ever to the program.